Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a lipstick video on my top 10 plus a bonus <laughs> because I was like, uh, it's 11 in here, but whatever. It's my top favorite like nudey, pinkish, beige, I just want to say like nude lips that I wear on an everyday base and I rotate these lipsticks almost like every day. Like every other day I'm switching it up to one of these and these just is my top 10 or 11 you can say some of them are glosses some of them are liquid lipsticks and the rest are like regular kind of lipsticks like your regular matte lipsticks <laughs> if you want to see what my top favorite nude lipsticks are then stay tuned I'm gonna start with my um like my favorite of all time liquid lipstick and this is my dose of colors in the color stone and it looks like this right here it is a very dusty pink mauve color it's more on the pinky side but it's still pretty nude i have it on my lips right now mixed with another one that i'm gonna mention in this video so my next one is kind of dusty because i use it all the time i actually need to wipe it off like how disrespectful so messy because this one actually stays in my bag most of the time and this is my Amrezy and the lip land collabo and this is in the color 88 um this is such a gorgeous color you guys so it's kind of like brownier like that brown kind of color mauve i guess i don't know but it's like that brownie kind of nude so beautiful i think any skin tone can wear this color it is very nice and it dries to a complete matte it's also an amrezy and lip land collabo and this is in the color spotlight this is one of her original colors that she came out with and this one is more of like a peachier kind of nude it's right here it's very light on my skin tone but i really really love how it looks i pair this with like a dark liner i pair it with like nyx um nutmeg or cork by mac it just is a such a pretty peachy nude that you can wear every day um for this for some reason this one actually dries very weird on my lips out of all of her lip um all of her colors this one dries very weird so i have to make sure that i moisturize very well i don't know if it's because it's a lighter color on me but i still love it and so far you can see how different these colors are they're just so arch staying with the liquid lipstick theme the next one that i am obsessed with is the nyx lingerie liquid lipstick and this is in the color push up now this one is so gorgeous more of a brown spice kind of pinky color and i'm gonna put that right here oh i freaking love that color you guys like it's a little deeper than spotlight it kind of is similar in a way but it's just slightly darker it has that more brown kind of other undertone but it's still kind of peachy in a way if that makes sense another one is also going to be by nyx and they're actually two of their soft matte creams the first one is called london and this is a mid-toed um beige kind of color so pretty it is so gorgeous with these ones you have to kind of build them up but they still have very good pigment to it so this is that one right here you can see it covered up my top too pretty well it is very nice very beigey so i pair this with like not so dark of a lip but kind of like similar because i like that beige kind of look on my lips it kind of gives it more of a softer kind of look without being too like out there i really love this and it's so creamy like these are so good because they're like I don't know they don't dry completely matte where they're drying they're really comfortable on the lips they last all day they don't give you that little like nasty stuff in the little you know that white little line I really love this and yeah it's another kind of brownie kind of beige look that I really love to have. this one is Athens and Athens is described 
as a I have like the colors right here too FYI this is described as a matte peachy beige so it's kind of similar to that one but it's more peachier um so, oh my God, I love it so like I said you have to definitely build up the soft mattes to get the pigment out of them so it's this one. Oh my god, my swatches are so bad. It's this one right here. More peachier, as you can say, can tell, but you can kind of see like the color scheme, you know? They're kind of similar. This one is very nice. This is the one I wear um least, but I no lie, like out of all my lipsticks, I have a lot of them. I pick this up a lot too. So I really love that. If I'm not going for like um spotlight by amreezy i'll go with this one because i don't want to waste it all because i need to order another one because i'm almost done next one is actually my most expensive lipstick and this is by nars this is their audition liquid lipstick and you can see like i'm almost out you guys like i don't even want to touch this but this is in the color raquel and this is of course gonna be like a regular lipstick but it's so creamy and so pink is a pinky beige love this color oh my god i fucking love this color sorry for the cursing but i will wear it more if it wasn't so expensive and i can repurchase it i mean it's not that that expensive but it is a little steep i think this retails for like 35 dollars or something like that bomb you guys if you don't have the audition lipsticks at least pick up one and i would say pick this one up it is just so pretty i think it will complement every skin tone if you're more darker this is going to be like a nice like light nude on like a a little bit lighter nude and just line it with like a darker lip with lighter skin tones it's going to be more of like a brownie kind of darky nude so perfect i just love this lipstick so the next lipstick is by renegade and this is in the color 86 and this is more of like a soft kind of lipstick and this is five dollar but you see how similar the nars and this one is like this is more peachy where this is more pinky but they look pretty similar and there's like a thirty dollar price difference on them like this is very creamy i love them this are five dollars i can't i kind of like their smell it's so funny because it reminds me of like that fake like kid makeup but i like that smell um i would say some of them kind of broke easily off the top for me but overall i love their lipsticks if that's the case just like if you have a problem with them breaking just cut them up and depot them like i should have done that but no so this one is my oh, i just love this color right here as well next one is a little busted too it's dirty i mean it's not that dirty it has some translucent powder on it but this is my favorite lipstick like regular mac lipstick ever like ever this is mac velvet teddy like look there's like nothing here and this is oh, oh, i didn't even want to swatch it deep tone kind of brown look brownie kind of color this is it right here i just love this color it is so beautiful i wear this when i don't have like no like very soft makeup for like that nice flush look it's kind of like my lip color but better does that make sense like it's just like so pretty there's like no color like it like i can't even describe them to the other colors it's just like it's just so pretty and of course i love mac lipsticks um one of my other ones that i don't have on here right now is um Oh my god, I can't even think of the name right now. Ugh, I can't even think of it, but I'll link it down below. Or I'll put it right here. It's one of my favorites too. It's not really like a nude lip, but it's my favorite. I love it. I freaking love this. Um, I feel like everybody wears this lipstick because it was one of the colors that Kylie was like raving about or something. But Velvet, Velvet Teddy is definitely, hands down, my all-time favorite lip color. Lip, anything in the world. This is my favorite. I would wear this every single day if I didn't have no other lipstick. No other. Love it. Going to lip glosses. I only have two right now that I can say I wear. I rotate almost every single day. And it's just like so bomb. So bomb. 
<laughs> so the first one is by Kylie Cosmetics and this is like lip gloss warm mocha brown and I'll put this like right here so you can kind of see oh my god you see how gorgeous that is and it's just so glossy oh my god I just love this I lied there's actually three I said two didn't I say two? Oh my god there's two glosses but this is the first one I love this I actually love wearing these by themselves without like liner or anything because they're so pigmented you see that oh my gosh they're so glossy so pigmented they're very they have that nice nude effect that you can wear on top of anything I just love her lipsticks like so bomb the next one by Kylie is Candy K and this is a warm pinky nude and I'm putting that right under you see oh my god oh, I'm wearing on top of my um my stone by Dosa Colors so glossy reminds me of um velvet teddy in like liquid form almost like you see like you see how kind of similar they are um very nice very wearable like i said i wear these without any liner or lip lipsticks underneath most of the time because they're just very pigmented and they're you see how shiny they are oh my god they, i just love it and then it smells like <sighs> So last but not least is my last lipstick or lip lip gloss I mean and this is Myth by MAC. Now I know you guys might be like what the fuck like Myth is mad light as hell. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about the lipstick. I'm talking about the lip gloss. But you see how gorgeous that is? A night, a light neutral nude. It is very subtle. Like oh my god I just love it though because like it is still glossy oh my god like I love max lipsticks I just feel like I mean lip glosses I just feel like they could be a little bit bigger for the price you know you know what I mean but this are it right here very beige you know um I like putting this over anything I use it over lip liner um not quite by itself like the Kylie's I mean because it is pigmented but not pigmented enough where it's gonna like look like I have something under like you get what I'm saying it's probably just gonna make my lips look a little bit more glossy because my lips are pigmented already so it's not gonna pull any like other color it's just gonna make my lips look glossy in a way you know all the swatches right here you guys my top 11 <laughs> um nude favorite lipsticks that I wear every single day not every single day because I can't wear all these like you know but I rotate them when I do wear nude lipsticks um, so yeah also this makeup tutorial will be linked down below if you guys are interested um, I really love how it came out and yeah so if you guys like this video please thumbs up I'm thinking about doing my favorite like bold lipsticks or my favorite like my top Mac or top dose or top like anything so just let me know if you guys are interested in anything and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.